Planes in Fusion 360 can be confusing for beginners. So in this video, we're going to answer some of the more common questions that beginners ask about planes so you can save some time and frustration. And by the end of this video, you'll have answered some of these essential things you need to know about planes in Fusion 360. Sometimes the little orange planes get really really small. How do I find those? Totally true. This happens especially to me in assemblies where the planes can get really small. A few tips. You can come over to your construction geometry and make sure that your visibility is turned on. Those are all of your additional planes you've created as well as under origin. This is where your standard planes will be. Simply toggling the visibility will turn it on. The next thing you need to know about is that planes are actually infinite. You can see this tiny little plane down here. You actually are allowed to drag the corners of planes. You can make them as large as you would like. And a reminder, they are infinite, so you can drag them as much as you want, but you don't have to. If I start a sketch, on this plane, I can sketch anywhere in space and it will be lining up with that original plane that I selected for my sketch. What if I wanna create an angular plane and then a second angular plane kind of based off the first one? Can I do that? Absolutely, so when it comes to creating angled planes, first create your first one. You're gonna use an edge or a sketch line or an axis. Find the reference point or entity you wanna use like this edge, create your first angled you can use your dimensions there in the dialog or just drag it. Now that we have the first plane, we can sketch a reference line. I'm going to turn my plane on just so we can see it for visibility. I'll sketch a line off in space. This is the reference I'm going to use to rotate our next plane. So I'm now going to come up, finish the sketch, go to construction. I'm going to do angled plane. Select this line and then now rotate at the new angle you'd like for your second reference plane. Click OK, you now have that additional geometry that you can sketch on and use for your design. How do I pattern planes? Unfortunately, this is a huge limitation for Fusion 360. SOLIDWORKS does this well, so does Inventor. I noticed in the forums this was an idea that was submitted to the Fusion development team and they archived it, not enough votes. So I will uh, launch this as a new idea. And although it's not a feature in Fusion 360, there is a couple workarounds that are okay. So I will create that in the next video. I'll link that in the description below as well as I'll put it at the end of this video.